so that you can't hear it. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I've done a glamorous party holiday. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have created a glamorous holiday party makeup tutorial. I have based it around really warm colors. I've been dying to use some warm colors on my eyes. So I injected some gold glitter as well to make it more holiday appropriate as well as a bright sort of matte red lip or semi matte red lip. So I hope you enjoy it and let's just get straight back into it. Hey guys, we're going to start off by priming our face first and I'm going to use the L'Oreal Lumi Magique Face Primer just because it gives a really nice glow to the skin. So we're going to start off with our eyes and I'm using the Lorac Behind the Scenes Eye Primer. So just popping that all over my eyes, through my brows and on my lower eye area or my eye bag area. So the first palette that we're going to use today is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette and we're using Ludwin first which is basically our cream coloured shadow. And then we're going in with Latius. I have no idea how to pronounce these names. And it's sort of like a light orange toned um, shadow. And I'm basically running that through the upper crease and the outer corner. And I'm running it right the way into the inner corner as well. And we're going to pick up Half Baked out of the Naked 1 palette, which is actually also in the Naked 2 palette as well. And I'm just patting that gold color all over my lid and around my inner corner as well and then we're going to just blend out any harsh lines that we may have created from that half-baked color and then we're going into Lucius in <laughs> it's sort of like a warm toned brown with kind of a red undertone um, and we're going to pop this on like a pencil brush really concentrating it on the outer corner in sort of a V shape and then bringing it right the way into the inner corner as well now I'm also picking up uh, Lace Latius, oh god, sorry if I'm totally butchering these names, sort of just running that on the top or higher part of the transition sort of shade through the crease and we're just sort of blending those two colours together and we're putting that sort of red-y brown colour on the lower lash line and bringing it all the way in and just blending it out as well. And then I'm just going to line my tight line and my water line and I'm using the Eye of Horus Smoky Black Goddess Pencil. Look away if you can't handle people doing this in front of you. Um, and now we're just going to add Shax from the uh, Kat Von D palette which is just basically a matte black. And I'm just putting it very um, densely on that outer corner and just on the lower lash line and um, blending it out. And I'm doing a really sort of medium sized wing I guess you'd call it and I'm just using the Maybelline Master Precise in black of course it's my one and only uh, liquid liner that I absolutely love so I'm doing sort of a thinner line on the inner corner starting to thicken it up sort of by about three quarters of the way and then we're doing quite a dramatic wing well as dramatic as what I can get on my hooded little eyes and um, just sort of extending it on that outer corner so that we can actually see the wing as well and just Perfecting it there. Now with the gold sort of bronze glittery sort of look, I'm using three different products. I'm using the Elf Long Lustering Lustrous Eyeshadow in Toast, and then I'm going on top with the Australis Metallics Eyeshadow in Bronze Once, and then I'm popping over the top a Elf Glitter Eyeliner, which is sort of a gold glitter as well. So I've just um, layered those products to get a beautiful um, glittery look. Now going back to the face, I'm using the L'Oreal True Match Foundation in Golden Beige and Golden Sand. They create a really nice colour to match me. Um, and I'm just using a Real Techniques uh, Miracle Complexion sponge just to blend that all over my face. I go in with the second layer sort of through that T-zone area of my face and just making sure I'm blending it around the hairline and the jawline really well. Now to cover up those really sad looking <laughs> eye bags and I'm using the NYX Dark Circle Eraser in Light Slash Pale. Now to conceal, I'm of course going in with two because one's never enough. I'm using the Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer in Ivory and the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in Sand. And I'm basically just popping the lighter one, the Rimmel one, in the places that I want to sort of bring forward and highlight and then going over it with the sand one from Maybelline just to sort of help blend everything out. And I'm using my Beauty Blender just to perfect it and blend it all in. And then we're going to just... Um, what am I doing? 
we're just blending out that lower lash line to make sure we've got no harsh edges with our um, eyeshadow that we could have created with the concealer. Just going into the Designer Brands Pro Contour Kit and using the yellow shade uh, powder in that and just putting that on all the areas that I highlighted and then using the uh, Maybelline Dream Matte Powder in beige just to set the rest of my face. Now just going to bronze up a little bit as well just using um, I think the lightest colour in that uh, Designer Brands palette and just doing that 3E shape around the perimeter of my face and then going in with the darker colour and actually contouring and creating myself, giving myself some nice little cheekbones and just uh, going around the hairline, the jawline and just doing a slight bit of contouring on my nose as well. Now for highlighter today, I'm using the Mar Maybelline Master Highlight in light bronze and just popping that on the tops of my cheekbones, um, on my cupid's bow, on the tip of my nose, the bridge of my nose as well. Um, you do have to layer this product up, product up a bit to actually get it to show through but it's really beautiful once it's all done and I'm just popping a tiny bit on the inner corners. For blush today I'm just using MAC Gingerly which is a really nice neutral toned blush. I didn't want anything to really compete with the glitter. And for mascara today, I'm just popping on my Lancome Doll Eyes Mascara, doing a few coats of that on my top and bottom lashes, um, just really prepping them for false lashes as well, which I do a little bit later. I did everything a bit backwards in this video, I don't know why. So just going to pop on some brows, and I'm using the Maybelline Master Shape by Eye Studio, and this is in deep brown, so I'm just using the pencil side first and just using sort of light feathery strokes to actually create my brow and then just brushing through it with a spoolie as well and then flipping that um, Maybelline Master Shape over and using the brow powder side and then just setting everything in place with my Maybelline Brow Drama in medium brown and ta-da! I'm all done on both sides. I've got some brows and I'm going to highlight my brows and sort of carve them out a bit as well and I'm using the Chi Chi Eye Brightener and I'm using the matte side and I'm basically just carving out the bottom side of the brow and just blending it out with a flat sort of shader brush and um, just then um, blending out the eyeshadows on that top part as well just to make sure everything's all nice and blended. Popping on some lashes now and I'm using the Model Rock 747 mediums which have been cut in half and just make really nice sort of wing on that outer corner and I'm using of course the Model Rock Clear Lash Adhesive which is the latex free one. Now onto the lips I'm using the Maybelline Lip Pencil in red and just lining my lips and for the actual lip colour itself I'm using the Revlon Color Burst Matte Balm in Striking and I'm just popping that all over my lips and we are all done. I hope you like this. watching my video today guys I hope you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching this um, holiday party makeup look and I hope to see you in my next video if you are new to my channel thank you so much for joining and um, I hope you stick around because we've got lots of fun coming up bye guys